Hello guys, in this week's episode I'm going to show you all my secrets when using a VLOOKUP and I'm going to ensure that you never ever make a VLOOKUP uh, error ever again. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a little bit of a lookup table for you guys and what we're going to do is put in a data table. So we're going to have drop down lists reading from our lookup table. So we're going to have drop down lists and we're going to have a VLOOKUP uh, formula also looking up from the lookup table and then obviously we're going to have a pivot table here where we're going to have some dynamic data that we can filter through. Uh, this is going to be an awesome tutorial. Please hit that like button, hit this little subscribe button down below and let's get straight into this one. I'm going to start off from scratch here. So let's start off with our lookup table. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit for you guys. There we go. So in A1 we're going to put in a lookup uh, table and A2 we're going to put in a description and B2 we're going to put in an amount. Alright, so let's say we're a shop owner and we're selling a computer, monitor and mouse for starters, that's perfect. And in B3, let's say a computer is worth 2000, monitor 1500 and 200 rand for a mouse. So we can also highlight and double click on the columns just to make the rows and columns look nicely as well. So what I'd like you to do is highlight A2 to B5, hit Control T to create a table. Make sure that this one is ticked. My table has headers and say OK. So this creates a nice looking table for us. And A2, you click on A2, go to Home, Format Painter, and you highlight A1 to B2 and each merge and center just to have that nice sleek look and feel. All right, guys, I'm going to explain my method to the madness of why we're making tables now. So let's start off with a data table. You can click A1, Control C, D1, Control V to paste and look up. You just replace with data for a data table. We're going to have a date here for date functionalities. We're going to insert later and you can highlight A2 to B2, Control C and you're in E2, Control V to paste. All right, don't worry about the formatting just yet. We're going to fix that nicely now as well. All right, so let's in, in date. We're going to put in some dates here. Let's go for 2021, 1st of Jan. And in the description or description here, let's go for data. You click on data. So A, A3 or E3, data, data validation. And here where it says any value, you click on list and you hit source and you just highlight A3 to A5. So this is what the description will reference to and you hit enter or OK. So now this includes this nice looking drop down list, computer, monitor, mouse, reading from this, which is quite awesome. So let's say we put in something extra in this table. So let's say we're also selling HDMI cables. Let's say it's worth 500. And now what we do is it inserts into this table and the data validation will pick it up and now HDMI cable also features here. So this is awesome functionality is going to be um, saving time as well as uh, ensuring that we avoid spelling errors in our VLOOKUPs. So you're in F3, we're going to say uh, equals VLOOKUP, open brackets, we're looking for E3 and the table array. In the past, we always put in a table array and we need to lock it in and there's a lot of errors that can come from this. I would like you to highlight this newly created table. A2 to B7 or B6 and it should say table hashtag all. It should have all and that means it will always reference to this table. It doesn't matter if you put in extra data or take data out, it's always going to reference to this table and it's going to take away those nasty N slash A errors that we usually get for VLOOKUPs. The column index is 2, so that we want the amount returned. So this is the first column, second column, so 2, comma, and you're going to say false for an exact match. And we're going to say enter, so you will see that VLOOKUP working quite nicely. I would like you to highlight from D2 to F3. And once again, we're going to hit Control and T for to creating a table. So now what is nice about this is we can drag this down now. So we can drag the data down. And let's say this wasn't the 1st of Feb. We changed this to the 1st uh, of, or the 1st of January. We're going to put it to the 1st of Feb. 
enter and we, we can also put this to the 1st of March just to make things interesting for our date and now you can choose drop down list computer and it, the VLOOKUP will automatically pull it through from the lookup table how awesome is this guy so this VLOOKUP here will always have something to reference to and it takes away all errors guys this is my top secret using a VLOOKUP so let's just du duplicate this to have some data up until 2022 there we go so we've got some data up until 2022 I just drag down that formula little drag handlebar drag down so we can say we're selling HDMI cables we're selling mouses here so we you can choose it now what we're selling here so and if there's an extra entry so let's say we were in 2022 uh, in first of March and now if you tab it's a table so it will show a NA but that's because we didn't put in a description drop down we sold a monitor that time and once again we look up working perfectly guys so this is awesome so now for the guys that's sticking uh, up until the end of this video I'm going to show you a very nice pivot table tricks as well uh, regarding this so we, we're combining the VLOOKUP the data validation with a nice pivot table to make it more useful and practical so click anywhere in your table or you can highlight the table D2 up until F17 go to insert insert the pivot table you click on pivot table click on the existing workbook here and we're going to plug this in in H2 and we're going to hit OK so now what we need to do is I'm just going to open up this for you guys we're going to drag and drop some stuff here description in the rows and amounts in values that's it and we're done with that pivot table there we go so we've got totals now so what i would also like you to do is click on the newly created pivot table i'm just going to take it out and you're going to go to analyze and insert timeline we're going to click on date okay and now we've got this nifty timeline i'm just going to zoom out a little bit now just zoom out there we go now we've got this nifty timeline that will also take into effect uh, sales what happened and we can go to years we can go to months so if you take years and we only take 2022 it's going to show the totals for 2022 17200 quick spot check up until 2022 or 2021 sorry and we can see 2017200 this works perfectly so now we've got this nice filter going and lastly you can click on the pivot table go to insert and you can insert a nice looking column chart and it will also show just gonna take out the total here delete the description and I'm just gonna for my video's sake just gonna make it a little bit better here for us there we go right so there we can see the totals uh, just gonna take it out here and if you filter through if we go back to quarters now you can filter through quarter one these we sold computers HDMI cables and monitors which is correct quarter two we sold a little bit extra and if you go back there we can have uh, 2022's results as well so guys this is quite nice functionality combining the VLOOKUP data validation with a pivot table to make it more practical and dynamic for you guys I hope you like this video I hope you hit this little subscribe button and I'm going to bring you some more Excel awesome videos next time cheers guys